Different types of links that, like you said, that um, linking with uh, a press release, like those links, okay, all those authority sites um, don't mean anything. It's coming from a press release. What type of links will help you rank? It depends on what your business is. So in the case of, of products, um, you know, probably things like product reviews would be good. Someone doing a review, um, not necessarily if it's an affiliate website that may be discounted, but in general, product reviews would be good. Uh, any kind of like product comparison content, buyer's guides, all that would be brilliant. Uh, even little stuff like, uh, you know, someone mentions your product on like a forum, you know, one of the things SEO say is forum links don't matter. Well, guess what? It's, it's, it's if you spam the, a lot of forum links and forum profile links and a bunch of stuff in your footer on forum, uh, posts then probably not. But if someone is like saying, oh yeah, like I bought this and it works really well, that probably counts for you. It should anyway. Like a, a, a Yelp review. Could be. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And I like the idea about uh, buyer guides. So we, we push a lot of gift guides. So, you know, uh, wire cutter, for example, uh, owned by the New York times. Uh, I think that'd probably be a, a good link to have. Uh, and also media relations. So if you can get into Forbes or if you can get into these magazines, or if you could be mentioned on a television show like USA Today or any of those uh, types of shows where there is a link that's going back over to your site. Useful? Mostly. Again, some may not count. Like, um, I don't want to say that no links from Wirecutter would count, but they're a really well-known affiliate. Um, mm. I don't know if the links would actually uh, count for Google for ranking because they, they technically any affiliate links should be marked, uh, either as sponsored links or no follow, which are supposed to basically be attributes that say, don't pass any value to this. And even if they're not marked that way, Google's got enough data that they've probably figured out that, uh, they should know that like Wirecutter is an affiliate site and all their links go to this stuff and probably don't count at this point. It's weird because like we, we can't actually like prove that one way or another, but in theory, that's the way their system should work now is, is especially for a site like that, that's so well known, probably doesn't pass value. Okay. Now let's go back to the shopping site. So you're, you're, you have a product, um, it's in stock and then you get this order buy, you know, they buy you out. Now you're out of stock. Does that have any, does that affect your SEO at all? Is there something that you should do on the page? Yeah. And every e-commerce site is going to have to make these decisions. I'm actually not sure what Amazon does. I should try and find that out. I guess they just stopped showing the listing. So no one really goes to it, but they still rank for things. So I don't know. I don't know exactly what they do. You might have to check that out. Yeah. They'll do um, this suppress you until you have stock back. Okay. But I, yeah, I wonder what they do for like Google and people that arrive from search engines. Uh, but, but everyone's going to run into that at some point, especially during COVID it's been crazy. There's so much stuff out of stock for everything. And every site's just going to have to make some decisions. Basically, is this even coming back? Do I want to keep the pay, keep it at all? Uh, you know, maybe it's going to come back, uh, a, a week from now, maybe it's going to come back a year from now. Um, you just have to kind of write it, the way I always tell people is this is kind of business decision. You have to kind of write some rules for it. Think about like constraints, the timelines, and just come up with whatever rules make sense. But basically, if you're just, if it's going to come back immediately, just leave the page alone, period. If it's not coming back for a while, maybe you want to start thinking about, uh, like doing something that adds other products they might be interested in. Uh, if it's, if you know, it's definitely not going to come back at all, you probably want to redirect it to like a similar product or a category page, just because at that point that page is dead. 
you got a product that's never going to have stock, maybe has links to it. You kind of want to try and transfer that somewhere else to one of your other products that's similar. Uh, so, so you just have to kind of figure out what you want to do based on, you know, if it's going to be there again or not. Okay, let's talk a bit more about uh, internal linking. So your thought. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur.